things that are a little closer to the kind of stuff they, you know, uh, would do in, um, you know, the original office, mm -hmm. the British, British office and things like that, where you, you know, the scene where, where I, I, Charlie comes over to, because he wants to spend the night in Max's room, and he's not there, and I'm trying to get him to spend the night in my room, and yeah. I tell him about all the board games that we can play, yeah. and and he's just kind of blowing me off. I mean, and it's this this horrible scene where one friend doesn't want to tell him that he doesn't want to hang out with him, and the other friend desperately needs for him to say that he's his best friend. And it's, it's really fun stuff to, to, to do. As how how close is that dynamic to like you the three like the three of you in real life? Uh, it's no, nothing. Nothing like it. okay. Nothing. The show the show is nothing like we are. Yeah. Now. We're nothing. Like, I mean, you know, I, <laughs> you know, I hate to I hate to break the fourth wall, but the truth is, like, we're, we're, we're nothing like these. Yeah. People. We're not even close. We could we could be further. From yeah. yeah. But you have a lot of fun. Going on, it sounds like it's a blast. It's a blast because we are we are truly friends, and and it's actually a lot of fun because we are, we actually are really good people. Um, and <laughs> it's true. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it, we're very considerate and not egotistical, and we have a lot of fun, and we encourage people, the, the whole crew, to have fun. And um, I don't like I don't like working with assholes. I don't I don't stomach that well. I think we're very lucky to be able to do what we're doing, and and uh, it's easy to get. You know, everybody works really hard and works long hours, so it's easy to get a little snippy. But at the end of the day, you know. It, it's it's just it's not worth it, you know. If if, if there's if there's somebody, if if one of these guys, you know, Charlie, Rob, Galen, Danny, if any one of those guys turned into an asshole one day, I'd walk off the set. I just you know, life's too short. So where where does that come from? Where does that just like the horrible character? Is that just it's, it's just what you find funny? Yeah. It's just it's just what we find funny. Yeah. And again, to it addresses that same question you asked earlier yeah. about just trying to top ourselves. Inevitably, we always end up probably topping ourselves anyway because, um, you know, we're always pushing the boundaries of, of pushing the back. You know, comedy has always been about pushing. Yeah. Good comedy has always been about pushing yeah. the boundaries um, because generally you you don't you, you get that wicked sense of joy. We've always been this way since we were kids. Everybody. You know, when you're a little kid, very little, it takes very little to push the back. So, yeah. I mean, you're in third grade and your your friend says shit and everybody's like, oh my God. <laughs> she just said shit. Yeah. Oh my God. Everybody freaks out, you know. Um, and we're still that way. You know, I think, I think, <laughs> you know, to have those uncomfortable conversations that you have amongst friends, you know, where, uh, you know, somebody says something that's horribly misinformed and yeah. racist and, you know, just uh, not even coming from a bad place, but just, just a place of just complete ignorance. Or, yeah. You know, and, and, and so ultimately pushing the boundaries is just what we find funny. Yeah. It's what makes us laugh. I mean, when we're breaking stories, we're always like, oh my God, no, we can't do that. Yeah. We can't do that. We should do that. We should do that. Because <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. It's so funny. Um, that's what's fun. That's yeah. what you know keeps it interesting for us. Here after here. I always this is probably this is probably a cliche for you now, but every time I'm trying to explain the show to somebody, I I inevitably use Seinfeld as a comparison mm -hmm. in terms of how horrible people, especially as the show progressed. Mm -hmm. Was that was that an influence on the show? Um, <clears throat> definitely, um, definitely, especially for Rob. Yeah, uh, Rob's a big big Seinfeld fan. Um, I, I love Seinfeld too. Um, but for me personally, I think that Curb Your Enthusiasm and, and probably yeah. the British Office were bigger influences yeah. for me, um, just because they were more what I was watching at the time that we created the show. Um, so, but that 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 idea that you could have. Um, 